Welcome to this pre-study video presentation prior to the NORDEFCO United Nations Logistic Course. This presentation is one of five short presentations that all are mandatory before applying on the online digital training. Those of you who has completed the online digital training may apply to the one-week advanced United Nations Logistic Course in Nordefic in Oslo, Norway. Please find more information at our webpage, nordefic.no. After this introduction, you should be able to recall the contingent own equipment system with focus on the CV manual and its standards, the major equipment, dry lease and wet lease, the self-sustainment, verification and control, related and important documents, and troop costs. The basic principles of the contingent on equipment system are simplicity, accountability, and finance and management control. These are accomplished by reducting the administrative burden on the troop or police contributors, the Secretariat of the United Nations, and the peacekeeping missions standardizing reimbursement rates on a monthly basis and applying common standards to equipment and services to be provided. Furthermore, accountability and control are ensured by the system relying on an agreement between the United Nations and the troop or police contributor for the leasing of the equipment and provision of services to the personnel. The Memorandum of Understanding eliminates the need of detailed surveys of equipment, spare parts and consumables, and places the responsibility for asset management on the true police contributor. The CV manual is updated every three years by the Member States and contains all detailed regulations, included required standards for all equipment and logistic self-sustainment categories. The manual also lists the United Nations reimbursement rates on all equipment and logistics self-sustainment categories called generic fair market value. The contingent own equipment system has required standards for all equipment and logistics self-sustainment categories. This is easy to relate to for both parties. We know what the required standard is. This limits discussions and misunderstanding. Standards also make the verification and control process easy to conduct. The CV manual has listed the standards for, for example, for a bed. If a unit brings only a sleeping bed, this will not fulfill the standard and there will be no reimbursement to the troop or police contributor. The troop or police contributor must fulfill the, the standards to be entitled to reimbursement. On the other side, if the unit brings a bed with much higher standard than the United Nations, the troop or police contributor will be reimbursed for the bed, but only up to the United Nations standard. Quality above the United Nations standard will be for the troop or police contributor's own costs. Major equipment is item directly related to the unit mission as mutually determined by the United Nations and the troop contributor. Items you need to solve your task. Major equipment is accounted for either by category or individually. Separate reimbursement rates apply for each category of major equipment. These rates include reimbursement for minor equipment and consumables that are used to support the item of major equipment. Major equipment is reimbursed individually. If you deploy 10 vehicles, you will be reimbursed for 10 vehicles. Dry lease arrangement. Reimbursement system whereby the troop or police contributor provides equipment to the mission and where the United Nations assume responsibility for maintaining the equipment. The troop or police contributor 
is entitled to reimbursement for providing the equipment, what we call dry lease. Wet lease arrangement. Reimbursement system whereby the troop or police contributor provides equipment to the mission and assumes responsibility for maintenance. The troop or police contributor is entitled to reimbursement for providing the equipment and the reimbursement for maintenance. Wet lease. Wet lease is dry lease plus maintenance. The maintenance reimbursement rate includes the maintenance tools and spare parts required to keep major equipment items operational to the specific standard listed in the CRE manual. Self-sustainment, a logistic support concept for a unit in a peacekeeping mission whereby the troop or police contributor provides some specific or all logistic support to the contingent on a reimbursement basis. Self-sustainment is organized in 18 categories depicted on the slide with different icons. The details regarding each icon you will find in the CV manual. Self-sustainment is reimbursed per category multiplied with the number of troops supported by the individual category. The Member States has tasked the United Nations to conduct field verification and control of the troop or police contributor, the contingent on equipment inside all United Nations missions. The verification and control include verify that the terms of the Memorandum of Understanding are met by both the Na United Nations and the troop and police contributor, verify that the equipment is operational, verify the capacity of the self-sustainment categories. During the verification process, the troop or police contributors deployed number of troops and major equipment and self-sustainment categories are verified against the agreed memorandum of understanding, NX A, B and C, and the required standards in the CV manual. Please note that this is an equipment standard verification only and not an operational performance inspection. As mentioned in the Memorandum of Understanding and the Letter of Assist presentation, there are some related and important standalone documents that always should be read in conjunction with each other. Guidelines for formed units from police and the troop contributor countries contain general information about the operational, administrative, and logical and financial aspects of the deployment, support, and operations of formed units in a peacekeeping operation. The TPCC guidelines focus on the true police contributors' preparations and deployment. Statement of unit requirement, the SOR, contains the operational and logistic requirement for police or military units in a United Nations mission. It is specific for each unit in each United Nations mission and contains the unit's capabilities, capacities and composition. The Medical Support Manual, standard reference document on medical support aspects of United Nations peacekeeping operations and political missions in the field. Recce Report describes all relevant matters of the troop or police contributors operational and logistic systems and plans that were agreed by both the United Nations mission headquarter and the troop police contributor during the recce visit. The CV manual, contingent own equipment manual, gives regulations regarding the standards of equipment and reimbursement procedures. Memorandum of Understanding, the MOU, is the agreement between the United Nations and the troop or police contributor for participating in the United Nations mission. Troop cost is not a part of the contingent own equipment system, even if the number of troops is a part of the Memorandum of Understanding, Annex A. The troop cost system is reviewed every four years next time in 2021 
and it is reimbursement to compensate the troop or the police contributors expenses by training and equipping own forces for United Nations missions. This includes personal kit and equipment, pre-deployment medical costs, United Nations specific pre-deployment training and all inland land transportation. The reimbursement is paid to the nation and it's not a salary to the police or soldiers. $1,428 US dollars per month per troop. The United Nations pay a daily allowance to the each police soldier of 1.28 US dollars per day and 10.5 US dollars per leave day. We have in this presentation introduced you to the contingent own equipment system. Key takeaway, the CV manual contains standards for all major equipment and self-sustainment equipment categories. The CV manual should be read in conjunction with other related and important documents. Thank you for following this presentation.